Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to look at an answer to a question that somebody has asked which is can you record MIDI at a fixed velocity and the answer is is a yes but it's a it's a qualified yes but yeah it is a yes so I'm going to look at a couple of different ways you can modify what's happening with MIDI and then get to the real point. First things first there's two ways you can do it so all I've got here is a Hallian Sonic SE just playing piano sounds so nothing particularly interesting that's because we're interested in this rather than the sound but this would work with uh, any instrument etc so there's two ways you can approach this uh, you can use either midi inserts or midi modifiers and as we'll see they work slightly differently if you haven't got those in your inspector if you just click the cog and then you can pick them from the menu that appears here so make sure you've got both of those present so first things first, I'm just going to show you how MIDI modifiers work. Now this is this is part of the way MIDI modifiers work, but you can alter your MIDI using this. Now just going to record something very quickly with that, all of that turned off, and you can see hit it hard or quietly. You can see at the bottom there the let's make that bigger so you can see it properly, but you can see the varying velocities of the performance that I did going to delete that now if you wanted to fix those things on playback you can do it with midi modifiers so a quick way to do that if we wanted to fix it to be 100 we can just add 100 to it and then make our velocity compression 100 there and then when we play you can't see but i'm hitting it really gently there and really hard but the problem with this is this isn't recorded so if we record something so I'm playing gently and then hard so it all sounds even but if you look at the way it's been recorded it's actually recorded that so you can see the low velocities here and high velocities I'll play it back They end up sounding the same because of this processing but this processing isn't applied so if you're concerned about your midi part that you've recorded having the uh, velocities fixed etc in it then this isn't going to be for you but this is useful if you just want to apply this to something you've already done however we can do it another way so i'm just going to bypass that so you see it's not doing anything now just play it back to confirm that Now the other way we can do it is in MIDI inserts, we can use the uh, transformer. So this is effectively the logical editor working in real time. So if you're not sure about the logical editor, take a look at my other videos on it. It's a really useful tool for all sorts of things, including this. So the transformer is here and we can see it's very similar to the logical editor. And we're just gonna add the controls that we need. So what I'm gonna do is in a filter, I'm just gonna put just that default line so I'm going to hit the plus here and then we can see we get type is equal to note which means we're only going to work on note events and then in the action section I'm going to just add one line I'm going to change it from value 1 to value 2 because value 2 is velocity on a MIDI note and then in an operation I'm just going to do set to fixed value and then I'm going to set that to 100 because that's our magic number for this okay and that's now going to work on what we're doing. So let's just take a look at that again. I'm just going to record something similar. So I'll delete that. So you see there's no smoke and mirrors. I'm going to record again and do two quiet notes, two loud notes a couple of times. So two quiet notes, two loud notes, two quiet notes, two loud notes. And again, we can hear coming out dead even as we would expect. But again, if we open this up, we can see they've not been recorded. But with this, you can do, and that's this little button here. So you can see where it says record output to track. So if we delete that and I turn that on this time, I'll do the same thing again, too quiet, too loud, repeat that a couple of times. And this time, now it gets recorded. So if you're concerned, you know, you want to have that. So when you do new recording, then it's actually burnt into the track as it were. 
then that's the way to do it. So using the input transformer, but then putting this record output to track. And that would apply for anything that you do with a transformer as well. So it's a really useful feature to be able to put that into the track and have that sort of hard coded into there. And then you won't need to worry about that in the future. So hope that's been useful and thanks for watching.